Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here then hi, I'm Charlotte, welcome to my channel. Um, today's video is going to be an ASOS activewear haul and I say haul but it's kind of, it is a bit of a haul but at the same time it's a bit of a review as well. I'm going to be trying out their ASOS 4505 range um, which kind of looks like, 4505 sort of looks like ASOS in numbers. Um, and it's their own activewear range. I've never tried anything from there before, so I've ordered quite a few bits from there to try out. Um, but then I have also ordered some branded bits as well. I've got a couple of pairs of trainers that I am very excited about. Um, and it's just that time of year where you want that push to get back into the gym, get back to being fit and healthy, get back to exercising. And let's be honest, new activewear helps. A little bit doesn't it um, before I get started if you are new to my channel and you haven't already then I would love it if you could subscribe I do one to two videos a week I'm going to going to get into doing two videos a week this year regularly um, but yeah I would love if you could hit the subscribe button but let's get going with the ASOS order okay the first Thing out the bag is a pair of leggings. Oh, they look quite small, don't they? <laughs> they look really small. What size did I order in these? UK 8, but they do look quite small for a size 8, don't they? But maybe it's because they're going to suck you in, like the waistband holds you in. It does feel like there's quite a bit of stretch. Mm, not loads. Um, but these are obviously just a plain black legging with the 4505 branding on the back. Yeah, that's on the back, that's the front. Um, and then down the side of the legs, they've got this kind of crisscross cutout design. But I just thought that that was quite a nice, I like black leggings to work out and I like to keep it quite simple. Um, but I, I quite like having a little bit of something different. And I thought these look quite nice. Um, so we will try them on, but I'm just not sure I'm gonna be able to squeeze them for them. Okay, so this is how the first pair of leggings look. And I'm honestly so impressed with the quality and the fit and the fabric. Honestly, they're so much better than I thought they were going to be. Um, first off, I thought this bit might be a bit uncomfortable because it is quite thick, uh, but it's not at all. It, I can't even feel it there, actually. You don't even notice it's there. Um, oh. <laughs> knees are clicking um the length is really good the fabric is lovely it's super stretchy and the waistband is nice and thick as well and just sits really high and holds your tummy in but then also gives a really nice shape on the bottom as well like it's got a really high waistband but then it's also got a seam here that gives a really nice shape to your bottom which i think sometimes black leggings don't always give you the best shape on the bottom. Um, so yeah, really, really like these and they are super comfortable as well. Like you can fully squat in them and they don't sort of slip down or anything. The waistband stays up. Um, yeah, really impressed with these ones. Okay, next up is what looks like another pair of leggings. Another pair of black leggings. Um, it's not all black, by the way. I have ordered a few coloured-ish bits. <laughs> but these are just plain black, but with a kind of mesh panel just halfway down the leg and again i just thought these would be a good simple basic style of legging but they do look quite small for a size eight so hopefully when they're on they have got a bit of stretch in them um but they've also got a little little pocket for your phone if you want a little inside pocket there again another really good pair of leggings these fit perfectly again um these are a size eight i'm sure but i'll leave all of the sizes below and obviously I'll link all of the items below as well um, but yeah these feel so comfortable I really like this little fishnet bit on the front and again it feels really comfortable there's no sort of seam on the inside that digs in or anything like that um, yeah really nice really comfy really good shape and a nice sort of high waistband as well okay next up is some more black honestly it's not all black I do promise you it isn't um, but this is a little ribbed crop top this is double lined as well it's got a nice thick double lining to it which is good and it just it does feel like for that sort of style of top it does feel like it would give you a good bit of support um, and i ordered that in a size uk 8 so we'll see how it looks on okay so this is how the crop top looks on and personally i'm not too keen um the band here is very tight so just to get it on it felt really really hard to sort of get on 
Um, and then shape-wise, it just feels a little bit too low, a little bit too, I think it's a bit too small for me as well, because it kind of is cutting in a little bit at the side and feels like it's sort of squishing me a little bit. Um, the fabric's actually really nice. It's like a really fine ribbed material, but shape-wise, I'm just not keen. It feels a little bit like it's squishing me in all the wrong places. Okay, we finally have a bit of something that's not black. It's black and white. <laughs> um, but next up is another crop top and it is just this kind of black and white marble pattern, uh, which I thought was really nice for gym wear. And again, I ordered this in a size eight and it feels nice quality. It's got like a mesh layer on the inside. Can you see that? It's kind of like the inside's a bit of a mesh layer and then it's got a double layer and at the back it's just got the 4505 branding which is quite subtle it's not too OTT there's nothing kind of on the front which is quite nice okay so again I went for a size 8 in the top and I'd probably say I could do with a 10 it's quite tight on the bottom band again and it kind of squishes you in a little bit again um, yeah, just not the most comfortable. It's, I like the style of it, I like the shape of it, um, and I like the fact that it is a little bit longer, but I would just say to size up in this one. Um, but support-wise, it does feel very supportive, if not a little bit too supportive on me, because it is um, too small. But yeah, apart from that, it is nice, but just a little bit, a little bit small. Okay, this isn't really active wear, but I ordered these because this is the sort of thing that I would wear with my active wear over the top. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying active wear. I never normally would call it active wear. I'd sort of say, well, maybe I would. Gym clothes, leggings. Anyway, this is the sort of thing I would normally wear with a gym style outfit. Um, so I ordered two hoodies. It comes with a pack of two and they're actually men's ones. And the first one is just a really pale creamy beige color. Um, I have got one like this already, which I wear lows. So I just thought one that was a little bit bigger and a little bit more oversized would be lovely to wear with leggings and things. You know, when you're just in your gym clothes and you want something nice and cozy to chuck on over the top. And then I also ordered the same one ooh, in black as well. I thought I'd just quickly show you one of the hoodies on just so you could see how they fit. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's very oversized, got big sleeves, um, quite long and just, yeah, nice and baggy and cosy. It's got a big hood at the back. Don't know why I'm putting that up. I probably would never put my hood up, but yeah, just nice and baggy and oversized and comfortable. And obviously the black one fits exactly the same. So I won't show you the black one on, but yeah, lovely little duo of hoodies. Okay, next up is another pair of black leggings, but these are just a really simple, plain style. Um, they're a little bit longer, they've got the branding at the bottom of the leg, the 4505 branding, and then they've also got like a little zip at the top on the back, which I guess that's, I guess that's for money, I presume. I don't know what else you'd keep in there, because you couldn't fit your phone in there. Again, these are just a really good pair of simple, stretchy, comfortable black leggings. They're the same fabric as the first ones, which feel so comfy. Um, they've got a little bit of branding just low down, which is quite nice and quite subtle. And they fit really nice on the waist, really high waisted. Um, they are quite long. I'm five foot six, and as you can see, they literally, I think there's a tiny little gather at the bottom, but they are just ankle length. Um, but I am pretty sure they also had a petite option and a tall option as well. They've also got a little string on the inside of the waistband that you can use to kind of tighten them up and tie it up so that they don't slip down. Um, I don't think that they would personally anyway. They feel very tight already. So I would probably just pull that out maybe. Um, but you could use that if you wanted to. Okay, next up is a matching set. And I actually wanted to order a few different matching sets, but they'd sold out in so many sizes of the um, ASOS 4505 sets. In fact, they didn't have a lot of matching sets in general on ASOS, um, but I really like the look of these. And this is the sort of fabric that I love for gym wear. It's that really sort of stretchy, seam-free fabric. Um, the branding's a little bit big on the back, I'd say. Really does look like ASOS, doesn't it? I mean, obviously it's meant to. Um, but yeah, the branding is quite big and these are a medium, but I thought with seam-free style, sometimes they come up really small and they've got loads of stretch in them. 
So hopefully they will fit me in the medium. They look, they look like they will. And then the top is just a simple black top with the slightly adjustable straps as well, which is really good. And again, it's got quite big branding on the back of that as well. Okay, this has definitely got to be the most comfortable set so far. Um, obviously, as I mentioned, the bottoms are a size medium and I can tell they're a medium. There's a lot of stretch in them. They feel, I feel like I've got pajamas on. They're so, so comfortable. Um, the only thing I would say is that they don't offer much support. Like the other ones feel like they're kind of sucking your waist in. Whereas these don't, they just feel a bit more sort of stretchy. Um, and then the top I got in a size small and this also fits really well. It feels really supportive. I like the neckline of it. It's kind of not too high, but not too low either. Um, yeah, it's got to be my favourite set so far, I think. And then on the back, I quite like the way they've got this line that almost looks like you've got shorts on. Um, they're really nice shape on the bottom. They don't squish you in at all. And the top sits really nice as well. And I like the fact that it's also adjustable. So you could have it a little bit lower if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, really like this set. Oh, that feels different to how I expected it to. I like the feel of that though. It's really lightweight and really sheer as well. Um, next up is this black gym vest. And again, this has got the branding on the back and it just feels very simple, very lightweight and perfect to just chuck on over the top of obviously one of the crop tops and just feel like it'd be nice and flowing and cool in the gym. Um, I ordered that in a size UK 8 and yeah, I like that, just nice and simple. Okay, so this is how the black vest looks on. And as you can see, if I hold it out a little bit, it is very sheer. It's not see-through, like you can't actually see your tummy through it, but it feels very lightweight and very airy and perfect for working out in. Um, the neckline is quite high and I would probably prefer it to be a little bit lower and, and sit like underneath your sports bra, but that's just a personal preference. Um, and then at the back it is a racer back style as well with obviously the branding in the middle um, and lengthwise it's quite a good length as well it just sort of covers the top of your bottom and then dips up at the side but yeah it is a good little vest if you are just looking for an easy reasonable workout top okay next up are some shorts and I just thought these would be really good for as the weather gets a little bit warmer in a good few months time um, when I, I was going to say when I go for runs, like it's like a regular occurrence, but it really isn't. But hopefully this year it will be. And if I go for runs outside, I like, I quite like my legs to be out to get a bit of sunshine on them. Um, so I thought that these would be really good for exercising outside basically. And I actually ordered these in the tall length because I thought if I ordered them in tall, they might be a little bit longer on the leg just so that they do cover your bottom. Okay, please excuse my pasty little pins. They definitely need a little bit of a tan, um, but this is what the shorts look like on. And again, I am super impressed with them. The fabric is lovely. It's really comfortable, but very stretchy. Um, they're a really good fit. I'm glad I went for the tall because I think it kind of just gives you that little bit extra on the leg. I wouldn't want them super, super short. Um, but again, very high-waisted, just sit just above my belly button and kind of hug you in a nice um, a nice amount but without being too tight. And on the back, if I just show you, they come up quite high, but then they also come down low enough to cover your bottom and a little bit extra. Oh, I also ordered a couple of packs of the ASOS socks as well. These are like the gym socks, the trainer socks, um, just to see the quality of them, I'm always in need of these, this style of socks. I feel like they always go missing as well. Like they just always vanish. Um, but I ordered three pairs of these, well, one set of these and one set of the more smaller ones. And they come in gray, black and white. Okay, so these are like the proper trainer ones that are meant to be kind of invisible underneath your trainers. And these ones have also got a little bit of rubber on the back as well to keep them up. There's nothing worse when you've got one of these socks in it hooks down into your shoe um, and these are the slightly bigger ones that aren't as invisible um, but they yeah they feel really nice quality these ones feel really thick and padded on the bottom as well which is quite nice next up is another top and this is just a really lightweight white vest in a kind of sheer camo print can you kind of see it almost looks like a bit it's got a bit of a shimmer to it on camera 
but not so much in the flesh. Um, but yeah, just plain white, high neck, um, quite low at the armpits and nice to have a good bit of airflow going through. This one also feels really lightweight and comfortable and airy. Um, I love the white camo print. I just think that's really nice but subtle. Um, and I also like the fact that it's got these deep V's on the armpits. Um, the neckline is quite high and it sits quite nicely. And then at the back, it just sits kind of halfway on the bottom, a nice length. Um, yeah, just a really nice, easy top to throw on. And again, really good price point as well. Oh, next up is another sports bra. And this time it is a leopard print one. That's really cool. I like that. Almost like a really thick, satiny feel to it. Um, but it has got the mesh bit in the middle, but it's sort of double layered, so you can't see through it. And I just thought this would look really cool with any one of the black leggings. Um, it did have matching trousers, but for me, I wouldn't want to be head to toe in leopard print. Although I do think it might look quite cool. Yeah, maybe I will make that. We'll see, how, we'll see how this looks on and how it fits. I actually really like it. I really like the fabric a lot more than I thought I was going to. Um, it feels really nice. It actually feels really supportive as well. Um, well, I say really supportive. I'm like a 32B, so for me it's really supportive. I'm sure it wouldn't be if you were larger boobed. <laughs> um, but the only thing I would say is that it is a bit too small for me. So I got it in a size 8 and is digging in a little bit at the sides. And I could do with having just a little bit more fabric. Um, but apart from that, I think it is a really lovely little sports bra crop top. Um, yeah, like it a lot. And then I also ordered the other style of short from the 4505 range. And it is the kind of looser, baggier, lightweight shorts, which actually I probably prefer, I think. I think they'll be a little bit more flattering on. Um, and I quite like the way they dip up at the side on the leg. And then this is how the other pair of shorts look on. And again, these feel really good. I've honestly been so impressed with the fit and the quality of so many of the pieces give or take a couple of the sports bras that have been a little bit too small. These honestly feel so lovely. They're very comfortable. They're like a really nice length at the back as well. They just dip down a little bit longer um, and they're not too short. Um, the waistband is really comfortable as well. It's not too tight and they're very black, which is nice. <laughs> um, yeah, just a really, really good pair of shorts and so good for the price as well. Okay, the next thing I ordered is this Nike zip up kind of workout top, I suppose. I don't know what it's called, but it is from the Nike dry range and I've got some Nike dry leggings and they're just a really lovely fabric. Um, so I thought I would order this for if I am going for a run and I want something warm to wear, but you don't really want to wear a hoodie because they can get a bit uncomfortable, can't they, when you're running. Um, it's got really long sleeves and it's also got the little thumb bit so you can kind of the nice long arm and you have your little thumb poking out. You know what I mean? It's just quite nice. Okay, so this is how it looks on. And I got this one in a size small and it is quite big for a small. Like there's quite a lot of room in it. Although I think when you're exercising, you don't really want it stuck to you, do you? So I think maybe it works in the small. Um, but yeah, really nice. The fabric feels lovely. It's so soft and comfortable. Um, I like the neckline. I like the little bit of branding on it that's not too over the top. And I like the little thumb bits as well. Like it's got really nice long sleeves and thick ribbed cuffs. And yeah, just feels really nice. Um, obviously I've got it on with the shorts now because I was filming these. Um, uh, but I would probably just wear it with leggings really because it's more of a winter piece and obviously these are a little bit more summery um but yeah i like it nice this is annoying isn't it get that out of the way <laughs> oh i also ordered a long sleeve workout top um just because sometimes you just want something that's a little bit more covered up don't you and this is kind of like a weird sort of i don't know if you can see but it almost looks like it wants to be a mesh fabric but it's not i don't know if it's double layered um but it has got the little thumb hole so your fingers poke out the end um, and it's just quite simple black it has got quite a big bit of branding there which I think is maybe a little bit too a um, little bit too big there be, I'd prefer that if that was maybe in like a matte black or something um, but 
just a good long sleeve top for wearing out running or something. It feels really comfortable, it's nice and lightweight and floaty. The sleeves are nice and long and they've obviously got the little thumb bit which is comfortable but I probably, to be honest, I probably wouldn't wear it like that, I'd probably just wear them quite normally. Um, the only thing I'd say with this one is I don't know if you can see, it kind of puckers up a little bit on the collar, I don't know if you can see that there. Um, it doesn't, it's not on that side, it sits fine on that side but that bit it just ever so slightly sits up on the collar. I don't know if that's just the cut of it because it's just not cut properly. Um, again, you probably wouldn't notice and if you wanted just a really good basic long sleeve top for running or whatever, then it is, it's fine, it's nice, it's comfortable. It's just another good basic top. And then moving on to footwear and I've got a few pairs of trainers to show you. And the first pair are these black Nike running shoes I guess. I did quite a bit of research as in I was looking at loads of different reviews as to which ones were the most comfortable for running in or for gymming in um, and which ones offered the most support and just yeah I just wanted something that was going to be really comfortable but really supportive and these had such good reviews. In fact on the side they say engineered to the exact specifications of world-class runners. So there you go what more could you want <laughs> um but they are just plain simple black trainers they look a little bit like the um the fly knit ones i think they kind of look a little bit knitted but they're not um and yeah they've just got a nice chunky white sole and a nice bit of squidginess to them as well so they are the first ones and they're just a really good simple gym shoe i will leave them linked below and then these ones definitely won't be for running in but I just thought they were gorgeous and I couldn't resist ordering them um, and they are so nice. In fact, they're looking very pink on camera. They're not pink. They're kind of like a dusky beigey nude. So I don't know why they are showing up quite so pink on camera, but they are like a nudie suede. Um, and I just thought these would be lovely coming into spring as well. And these are such a comfortable shoe. And then the last pair that I ordered, which again, definitely won't be for running, um, but I just thought they were really lovely and they are these chunky beigey nude trainers which are also ASOS design. I don't think they're from the 4505 range, I think they're just ASOS own range. Um, but I just thought they were really lovely and maybe not for gymming, although you could, you could sort of wear them to the gym if you weren't running. Um, but also if not, they'd just be really nice during the day, wouldn't they, with jeans or leather trousers or even with shorts coming into the summer. Um, so I just thought they were really nice and they were pretty reasonable as well and I thought I would order them and see what they were like in the flesh. Um, so yeah, that is the last pair. I actually really like them um, and I will leave them linked below as well. Okay, so that's everything for my ASOS activewear haul. Um, I really hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please do give it a thumbs up and like I said before, if you are new, please do subscribe. Um, obviously, I will not be keeping all of these bits. I just wanted to be able to order a big sort of selection of things so I could give a good all-rounder review. Um, but hopefully, I found a good couple of outfits to get me back into the swing of working out again. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave me a comment and let me know your favourite set or pieces. Um, and hopefully, I will see you again in my next video. Goodbye.